Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Well, hey guys, I'm out on the Kingsong S16 and uh, I thought I would take a little uh, rain ride. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't rain much in Southern California, and I just happen to have this wheel during the, kind of the start of the rainy season, although it's been kind of dry this, um, relatively this winter so far. It's January, uh, January 22nd. It's drizzling right now. I'm, um, I'm, out hunting for more rain. It'd be ideal if it would be ideal if I had a, a big uh, downpour right now. I thought I would test the weatherproofness of uh, the S16. <laughs> uh, who best to test waterproofing than uh, someone in Southern California where it doesn't rain? So of course you might want to ask yourself, uh, what exactly is a rain test anyway? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I don't know. I think um, if, the, if the wheel doesn't uh, cut out on me or fail, then I guess it passed, right? I do have uh, some safety gear on underneath this uh, poncho. And these ponchos actually do a really good job of keeping you dry, except for except for uh, my legs, the bottom of my legs. And the, it's got a hood, but it won't fit over my helmet. But really, I guess the rain test, if not if anything, it's just to give you, to show uh, you my confidence that it's a weatherproof wheel. I mean, I've looked at the build quality, gasketing, everything looks great on this wheel. So I don't see why you shouldn't be able to run, ride in the rain. So I'm gonna ride down to the riverbed and uh, see if there's any water in it. Ah, uh, very little rain, or very little water. We've been having rain for the last, um, off and on for the last couple days. It rained pretty hard last night. But it, it takes a while for the LA rivers to f start filling up and actually flow with water. <laughs> We've got all these little mini dams as the river flows down from the mountain to the ocean as you can see coming up you know, you remember to wipe the lens every once in a while yeah we got a little bit of water here not much So I am managing to get uh, a little wet here. I mean, I'm not sure what to say. The wheel feels great. It's, everything is definitely getting wet. Now I will say that uh, the pedals on this wheel are uh, definitely not great for uh, grip when wet. I mean, I can, I can feel, I can just feel that they're slippery, which is pretty much what you would expect from um, cast stubby spikes. So they're better than the grip tape of the old days, but um, 
Yeah, I think you'd, if you do any kind of serious riding on this wheel, you'd want to get some, uh, some aftermarket pedals. And I don't know if anyone's making them for the S16 because, uh, like I said in my unboxing the video, the, the pedals are not compatible with the S22, and I don't know about the S19, or if anyone's making pedals for the S19. Okay, let's go down to the this riverbed. See if there's anything down here. It doesn't look like it. Gotta, I gotta watch out for the slime though. It can get really slippery down here. Wow, I was gonna go through this uh, suction here. But I'm not sure how deep it is. I mean, it's flowing. <laughs> I don't know. A long time ago, I remember Jeff Klein went through something like this. It was deeper though, and uh, his monster got a, got away from him, and it got to totally submerged. Let's see if maybe I can find a place to cross, though. It might not be so deep. Ah, it's tempting. It's hard to tell how deep it is from here, though. I'm going to look for another section. It's all looking too deep. I think if the water wasn't flowing, I'd go for it, but uh, yeah. Hmm. I guess I gotta go around. All right, I found a section I think I can go through. Let's see how it goes. Well, that wasn't very deep. Just got my feet wet a little bit. All right, let's go hunting for more rain. Water. Well, fortunately, this is kind of a warm storm. So it's not, uh, I'm not freezing. I'll probably be cold when I get home. It seems to be raining more now. I hope you guys appreciate this effort for science. <laughs> uh, it's all fun. I just gotta watch out for slime while I'm down here. But most of this area I'm riding in doesn't norm it's not normally wet. So there shouldn't be there shouldn't be much slime down here. But still, no radical turns, and uh, I think no carving.
but uh, I don't know if you can see this is that center channel it's definitely much deeper here I would definitely not attempt to cross it would uh, submerge some of the battery packs for sure It's actually kind of fun to come out and ride uh, in the rain in a way. As long as you can keep yourself semi-dry, no one is out. Very few people are actually out, right? Who wants to be outside when it's raining like this? So it's kind of like uh, riding at night or really early in the morning, like before at sunrise, you know, the that's the best time. The world is quiet, hasn't woken up yet. You kind of got everything to yourself. Same thing when it's uh, raining. I'd really love it if, it if it really came down hard. So it looks like some heavy clouds up in front of me. So I think I'm going to ride towards where it might be raining more. We'll see. I think maybe I should have bought goggles, but uh, I don't know. It'd be hard to see through those too, though. Well, I'm getting a micro taste for 95% of you guys who uh, get rain a lot. Must be a pain in the butt. <laughs> Because, I mean, you know, again, I'm having fun right now, but if it rained, uh, you know, if it rained every week, this would uh, lose its novelty factor and uh, I probably uh, wouldn't be out riding. Well, this section of the river has some good water flowing in it. Always nice when the LA rivers actually have water in them. Which mostly is not the case. And look at all that lovely uh, Southern California traffic. I think it's about four o'clock maybe, so it's Kind of a rush hour traffic. Being retired, I'm sure I'm glad I don't have to drive anymore in uh, rush hour traffic. Never was fun. I used to spend, uh, when I was working, quite often two hours out of my day would be driving. An hour each way to work. For decades I did that. Ah. Well, I think for all practical purposes, the wheel passes the rain test. I mean, I'm pretty soaked riding uh, about 20 miles an hour into this drizzle. Uh, everything's pretty soaked. I mean, uh, again, what do you expect in a rain test on a, on a modern wheel? They're all really... Uh, sealed pretty nice in my opinion I don't think anyone's really making uh, wheels which are overly exposed to uh, moisture coming in I definitely do not like the pedals though they feel very slippery very slippery so uh, ah everyone needs to follow up Goad's example and uh, supply their wheels with real pedals that have real 
biked, you know, um, you know, mountain bike pedals, spikes. Ah, I forget what you call them, but you know what I mean. Real spikes. <laughs> Something that digs into your shoes. None of this cast nubs anymore. I know, you really do wonder sometimes, do they, um, do they ever test these wheels in all the different conditions? But, slowing down here a little, little bit, uh, I do want to say uh, how much I do enjoy this uh, S16. I have to watch my selfie stick so I don't whack into this fence next to me. But uh, it's just, it really is so nimble. It's, uh, it's a fun wheel to just, this would be my go-to wheel if I owned one. Uh, you know, if I had an unlimited budget, I'd love to actually have this wheel because uh, it's, it's just great for uh, riding around town, riding to stores. It's, it's better, you know, I mean, it's, you know, I've got like the N10-3 and N10-4. They're, they're um, but they're too slow, really, to go, like, uh, some, you know, I take, I, I go out a lot to uh, grab a lunch in town, so it might be, uh, might be four mile round trip, and um, it's just not too uncomfortable on the M10 series of wheels, and of course I take my bigger wheels, but I don't know, this is like, this is a perfect kind of kind of wheel for that that kind of commuting you could say it um, like like in old days I'd, I'd go uh, to the, to um, you know I'd be riding the sidewalks wait at the light I'd be do, doing little uh, circles you know I feel you can do those circles on any wheel <laughs> but they take a lot more effort this wheel is much closer to some like an M103, M104 in terms of just very, very nonchalantly without thinking about it, just do tight circles. So, uh, and all the little lights, I've gotten some comments by uh, by people in stores, you know, oh, that looks cool. And I'm pretty sure the lights, the lights have a, a positive effect. I haven't dug into it. <clears throat> ah, my voice. <laughs> I haven't dug into it too much yet, but uh, I still haven't found a way to turn off the lights. I think that would be a nice option to just go to totally dark. You you could do that on the older uh, King Song wheels. So it might might be a setting I'm just not seeing. But anyway, I do. You know, for what it is, I really do enjoy this S16. Does it look like I'm having fun? <laughs> uh, I'm heading back home towards home, but I have a few miles to go, I think. And uh, I realized my head is starting to freeze over. <laughs> I have this open helmet. My head is totally wet. And uh, yeah, I think it is cold.
Okay guys, well, I think this concludes my, uh, maybe I'll call it my uh, mini, my mini rain test. I didn't get the downpour that I wanted, but I uh, got to run, ride through some uh, puddles anyway. Got wet. I'll look for more opportunities uh, and any, any other uh, rainstorms that come through. Maybe next I'll uh, try the V14. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, until next time, safe riding!